Okay, we are on our final probability lab, week 18 for us, week 18, 24 in the book. This one you want to um, plan ahead because the kids need to count how many TV shows they watched this week, how many books they read, how many something else that they could have done. Um, Bible verses read, how many nice things they did. Um, for someone else this week, plan ahead and have them count a number of things so that you'll have some data that you can use for week 18. Um, this one, we're going to be teaching some more probability terms. And you can even bring these up earlier if you want because they're pretty good. Um, the terms we're going to be learning are um, mean, median, and mode. Basically, the mean is the average. And usually what I, what I have heard and helps me to remember it is that it could be mean to call someone average. So that's how you remember that the word mean means average. Median, the one in the middle. So, um, and so I like to think of the median and the road is the easiest one. It's always in the middle. And then mode means which number occurs the most or what result occurs the most. And that is mode meaning most or the things with long O's. So those are your terms, a couple ideas on how to help the kids remember them. And basically, we're going to be doing, um, taking our results from what the kids did last week and figuring out what's the mean, the median, and the mode. So you've got, um, let me see, seven kids in your room. They, the first one watches TV shows three times, four times, three times, ten times, six, eight, and nine. You add... Okay, and one of the first things they do sometimes is to order them in um, the way they happen. So you would reorder them. Three, three, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. So now you know, if you would add all of those up, they equal um, 43... 43 divided by the quantity that you had, 7, equals 6.14. So 61.14 is the average number of TV shows that this group of kids watch during the week. Even though some watch 3, some watch 10, the average number is 6.4. Okay, looking at our results again, the middle number is the median remember mm -hmm. so sick uh, so our av well, I shouldn't write average I should write mean so our mean is 6.14 our median is 6 and our mode which number occurred the most would be 3 so our mode is 3 um, you can graph these on the board with, um, with just a bar chart. Make sure that you have kids across the bottom if you want. And then make sure you have a scale on this side. So when you're doing graphs, it's good to have a scale. And then um, you can chart them. You can make them just skip by two numbers so that you have a three, a three a 4, a 6, an 8, a 9, and a 10. That's kind of a fun thing to do with the kids, too, is to graph them. Um, you can do this with books or whatever else you had the kids um, remember what they did last week. You could do it with something that the kids have on, how many buttons everybody is wearing, um, how many siblings 
each person in your class has. Um, there's a number of things that you can do to um, get a result set that you can ask for the mean, the median, and the mode. So, and that will wrap up um, probabilities. You might want to do like a basic review of some of the other ones that you did this week. And um, have fun. Okay, thank you. Bye.